Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. It's an exciting day today. We have Marilyn and Paul Brettlinger, the founders of Crop King, who are going to explain to us what we need to know about hydroponics, a wonderfully exciting way of growing food, plants, and we're going to understand the distinctions between organic and non-organic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Marilyn and Paul Brettlinger to It's Rainmaking Time. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, and thank you. Talk to us about what have you been doing for 27 years? Why did you go in this business? Um, during our college days, we were initially introduced to hydroponics. My former husband, Dan Brettlinger, and I, we owned two small greenhouses that we grew tomatoes in in a very old and kind of archaic growing system where we had beds of peat moss um, and tomato plants in them, and it was a difficult system, but that was our first introduction to hydroponics. Why did you do it, though? Initially, it was we were very enthralled with greenhouses, and this was a greenhouse that was available for sale in Springfield, Missouri, where he was a student. And that was our we bought those greenhouses and and uh, got our feet wet in hydroponics. Explain what it is, Marilyn. Hydroponics is a method of growing without soil, so you eliminate all of the pathogens that may be in soil and some diseases. But, but more than that, you don't have to be in an area where you have good soil to be able to produce a vegetable or a fruit. You simply need to have um, fertilizers that you suspend in nutrient enrich. You, you suspend these fertilizers in water, and the plants don't have to work hard to get it. Um, but there are a lot of different methods of hydroponics. Hydroponics is generally growing without soil in water. In a way, when you think about it, it seems otherworldly. Like, how do you grow plants not in soil? We're so used to soil-based growing. Is that part of the perception that keeps many people from participating in hydroponics? I think one of the perceptions that keeps people from participating in hydroponics is their concern that maybe it's some kind of weird chemicals that we're growing our plants in. What we're actually growing our plants in are all of the elements that you would find if you had perfect soil. They have been reintroduced into water, and then the plants are fed with that nutrient-enriched water. What kind of elements are in the water? Give an example of it, if you would. Well, the calciums and the, the, all the micronutrients, the irons, everything that you would find if you could find the perfect soil. And perfect soil for one crop is not necessarily the same soil that's perfect for another crop. So you can adjust different levels of different nutrients in the soils for specific plants. Do you buy those nutrients separately and introduce them into the water, or are you saying it comes from the water directly? Water does have some nutrients in it, and that's one of the advantages that Crop King offers is that we actually look at what you have in your water and we enhance anything that's not in it. You know, some people have a lot of calcium already in their water, so your fertilizer mix would be made with a little bit less calcium because you already have it in our, for instance, you know, you have iron in your water. So your fertilizer mix would not contain as much iron as someone else who didn't have that already existing in their water. Is this a science? Absolutely, it's a science. <clears throat> Talk about that. Well, we're basically uh, the greenhouse. I mean, what, what we do is uh, control environment agriculture. So when we control the environment, it's basically what we're trying to do is mimic a lab setting where we control exactly what the plant gets through for, you know, force feeding it with the proper nutrients and giving it exactly what it needs so it doesn't have to expend energy going out and looking for them and extrapolating them from the soil. It's, it's readily available in a easily uptakeable form uh, directly to the roots. Now, Crop King is a commercial uh, hydroponics you all, you training environment, and also you provide the equipment, correct? That's correct. We offer, we've had a horticulturist on our staff, Jim Brown, and he's one of the people who's uh, early in, the, he's, Jim's been around since early times in hydroponic production. And he's our horticulturist, and um, we offer training schools that Jim teaches. Um, and ongoing technical support. If someone buys a greenhouse package from Crop King, a hydroponic greenhouse package, 
we're available for issues that they may have. They say, you know, my leaves look a little yellow or I have this particular bug or and those are the kind of things that we try to support our growers in. Why should people turn to hydroponics or consider it? Well, because they may be in an area where they're, they don't have good soil for growing crops or they don't have good rainfall, and that's what the controlled environment does for you. It doesn't matter what your soil is like or what your environment is like. If you can control it inside a greenhouse, you can produce these different crops. I think that's a good question um, that should probably be expanded on a little bit as far as you know, why should people look into hydro or why should people go with hydroponics as a form of f- producing their food? Not everyone should. I think that's one of the misconceptions that is being presented out there with the with the attention that hydroponics is drawing across the the country from you know New York Times articles to Time Magazine rating hydroponic systems to the uh, financial industry investment conferences that are related specifically to agriculture that are dominated with the new hydroponic systems that are coming out. It's becoming such a buzzword that so many people, just like every buzzword, fad, huge push of media attention does to anything, everyone will jump into it and try to you know, make money off of it being a buzzword. Not, hydroponics won't work for everybody or in every situation. Some places it just doesn't make sense to have hydroponics. If we have ample amount of farmable land that will produce good quality products, it's not necessarily going to be a great solution in that specific region. Um, But as we have less and less land or as we deplete the soil that we do have, it's going to become more and more necessary as it, you know, as it continues to move into the future. But One of the things that is somewhat frustrating being a company that's been in this industry for 27 years is the muddiness that's happening as far as what works and what doesn't work. So, for example, people that have some land or have a home who have been inspired or excited and motivated to have their own hydroponics area where they grow their own food. I realize that you're a commercial Well, right. Company, Certainly for the hobbyist, it's a completely, different, a completely different situation. If someone is interested in it as a, <clears throat> as a hobby and wants to you know, grow their own lettuce and tomatoes and things like that, certainly it's a, a viable option. Um, a lot of people will come to us, though, and they want to do that because they want to save money. You know, over going to the grocery store and buying, you know, buying their own produce. It's not going to be a money-saving thing on a hobby scale. Um, there are benefits as far as you knowing where your produce is coming from, knowing what what's been sprayed on it, knowing that there's no harmful pesticides on it from you know getting it from a grocery store that got it from a farmer that's uh, 1,500 miles away. But as far as doing it to, you know, save money from avoiding going to the grocery store to buy lettuce, it's not going to save you money. Uh, but on a commercial scale, the benefits, you know, obviously it's a different set of pros versus the, the hobby side. Are there a lot of commercial hydroponics companies out there? I have to define a lot, you know. There. Well, and what, is, what do you mean by a commercial company? Are you like, talking about in other words, that provide the products or companies that grow the produce? Companies that grow the produce. Um, well, I would say that Crab King services hundreds of them, and, we, you know, we probably don't service all of them small growers around the country who might be a farmer who've added a, you know, a com- small commercial system that they sell locally within a 100-mile radius. And, um, and, and again, that's the advantage to hydroponics is that your food, we're not talking about shipping it across the country. We're talking about selling it right around the area that it's produced. So it's local food. The majority of all of our growers are pesticide-free growers because we use something called biological pest control, which means that you put in one type of bug to eat the other bugs that you have. You put in carsey in to eat the white fly that you may have in your greenhouse. So we avoid spraying any kind of pesticide in the greenhouse. So you can get a locally produced.